Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll provide you food photo preset which is uh, like that. I just given the post in my Facebook and other social medias. So this type of five effects I'll provide you out today and let's jump into the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So first image is like this. That means this one is my first image so before one was like that after adding the preset you are getting like this let's see what is inside these preset settings so I'm making another copy of this layer and after copying that go to the filter and camera filter camera filter is a plugins of the Photoshop if you want to get the download link of this one please check out my video description and in case you are the CS version, you have to download these things and install it manually. If you are the user of the CC version, you are getting this one by default in your Photoshop version. From here, you will get small menu, low settings. And then I just got this one, the first one, the example file and load it up. Yeah, that's fine. The settings is like that, temperature minus eight exposure 0.15 highlights minus 29 and shadow 40 and texture minus 8 vibrance minus 1 and the saturation minus 7 i just made it a little bit de-highlight or desaturate and the de-vibrant and here i didn't use the rgb tone curve i used over here the blue tone curve like this locked up over here the input value is 130 and output 114 and let's see the green one nothing changed red nothing changed and here i didn't touch that in hsl panel i changed the luminance that means the intensity of the color yellow color intensity up that is 21 orange plus 8 and 6 for the red saturation plus 32 and the yellow saturation 43 green saturation 70 and hue i didn't change the hue split toning the shadow color and highlight color the shadow or highlight color value defines with the hue and the strength or percentage defined with the saturation so hue is 209 for the highlight saturation 13 shadow 186 and the saturation 5 no lens correction issues over here and the effects i didn't touch that calibration i didn't touch that and hit the ok button so you're getting the changes before before one and after one and making it save let's see this one so changing it up the before one was like then after adding the preset you are getting this this one is so shiny and like that so let's check out the settings of this one i'm making copy another copy filter camera filter again i'm telling you that in a creative cloud version you're getting this camera of filter that means these plugins by default otherwise you have to install it manually please check out my video description for the download link and here go to the load settings options number two i'll import this one load it up yeah you're getting like that the before image was if we analyze before image was not enough highlight and other stuff but in this image you are getting the shadow highlight and other steps properly with the split toning that means if i consider the split toning 209 and 13 and the shadow 186 and saturation 5 that's fine and hit the ok button the before one and after one saving this one and after that this one the before image was like that too much highlighted overexposed but in this image you are getting all the things in your control this one is number three preset let's check it out here filter camera filter then the load settings options from here number three yeah here i made the highlight down and the blacks and whites i just adjusted these things whites plus 39 and the blacks minus 40 that's why you're getting the perfect light from the window coming and the fog or other stuff is nice and hit the ok button and saving these things let's 
go to the next one this one this one is like that and before one and after one so before image was like that if i make a copy by pressing ctrl j or drag it and drop over at the plus sign and then go to the camera filter i'm again telling that the camera plugins if you want to get the download link please check on my description number four is like that before one i just change the color and temperatures and other stuffs i make the temperature minus 15 and the tint plus three and the split toning i change the split toning value of the highlight 113 and the saturation 10 and the shadow value 186 and saturation 5 and hit the ok button you're getting the changes which is like that saving this and now number five the last one the before one was like that and after one you're getting the moody effects and let's see the settings if i double click over here the settings will appear here the temperature minus 8 exposure 0.15 the highlight minus 29 the shadow plus 40 and vibrance minus 53 saturation 15 and hit ok before one and after one you are getting the amazing five preset for your food photography hope that it will help you out to make the photography level in the next and it will help you out to make your photography editing easier so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or comment please do comment in my video comment section and if you want to get the download link of the preset and the plugins please check out my video description and until the next video i am signing out today bye, -bye.